after visiting with family for the weekend, it is time to hop back into the plane and head south. Today, we are flying to the west coast of Florida to Marco Island. Cherokee County Traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike at the ramp, uh, taxiing to departure and runway 23, Cherokee County. Bye everybody, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> All right. Fun holiday weekend with the family. We are heading today down to the west coast of Florida for a quick little shell hunting trip in Marco Island. And then we're going to head back over to Stewart probably later today. You're going to go to the other end and come back so they can see you. Yeah. I figured I'd give just a uh, little bit of a low takeoff and then climb the yeah. park. Got plenty of runway. Yeah. Cherokee County Traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, taking active runway 23 at first taxiway exit, departing to the south. Cherokee County. Love you. 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 Love <laughs> that turbulence or that you it's daddy wave in the plane. I was I ready see, for it. I <laughs> see them I see them I see them waving. So the very first time he did that was the person we flew with Daddy and he waved the wings and I had no idea he was gonna do it. It was a wave. Startled me. I expected it today. Cherokee County traffic, Aztec 2441 Mike, climbing through 2000 to the south, last transmission, Cherokee County. Atlanta approach, Aztec 2441 Mike, just off of Cherokee County, climbing through 2000 feet, looking to activate my IFR flight plan and continue south. 2441 Mike, Atlanta, good morning. Maintain at or below 3000, squawk 1732. At or below 3000, squawk 1732. Four one Mike. Four one Mike. Clear as filed. Present heading. Maintain three thousand. Expect one one thousand within one zero minutes. Cleared as filed. Uh, maintain three thousand. Expect one one thousand within one zero minutes. Four one Mike. Are those buildings peeking out of the clouds? That's not quite right. I think those are buildings. That's awesome. Here. Look straight ahead. And it looks like yep. It is a tower. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Tops of the buildings barely peeking out of the clouds. That's cool. Heading 200. Heading 200 for one mic. Look at those giant buildings below us out your window, Shelby. Or out Jack's window. Big skyscrapers. Which is exactly what they're doing today. They're scraping the sky. They're scraping the clouds. Are we flying right over Atlanta? I can't tell. Yeah, they're going to take us over the top of the airport, which is straight ahead. But this is downtown. This is downtown Atlanta With the crowds, right here. It's hard to tell exactly what's going on. All right, there's Atlanta's airport coming up on the right. When we go north south, it wants they want us right over the top because they're all landing east west. That makes sense. I would not want to be a controller for <laughs> this plane to air. Gotta be busy. That's a lot of airplanes. And that was another good IFR flight plan filed. And uh, then the weather got better at the airport we were at. We took off VFR, flew straight at Class B airspace, picked up our IFR clearance in the air, and have been vectored right through the middle of Atlanta. So, I definitely all in all, see why you would want to do IFR good. going past Atlanta. Can you even do VFR over Atlanta? You have to have permission, but yes. You have to be talking to them because they're going to vector you around and do yeah. stuff. But you know, but when you start out, that's really scary. Yeah, and now we just all of a sudden just punched right in and went well. It's not that hard. Anybody out there wanting to do it, go do it. It's doable. Woo, look at that! No, do it for the camera. Oh, uh, if only our peep did that. I know. How disappointing that the peep did. Yeah. Do you want me to do it or you want to do it? I want to do it. 
<laughs> you can hear it. Climb and maintain 1 1000. Forward mic. We're way up there now. Yep. We got clouds ahead that remind us that we're still not high enough. So, where is the weather? Is it in central Florida or is it just coming It's more central, the but west? the route they just gave us cuts the corner and may put us closer to the weather. We'll see. There's the weather. Yeah. Ugh. Well, that's where we left this morning. I got all my satellites. Hot. Darn. Hot dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be even better. Hot dog. Hot diggity dog. Well, I'm just glad that we were able Delta to get in and stay for a couple of days. That was nice. Delta 5, yep. We just hung out for day days, family. Celebrated a birthday and Easter. Yeah, it was fun. It was a nice holiday weekend. Glad we made it work. We, we did take a short drive to the Blue, blue Cat. <laughs> yes, for anybody that watches Ozark Ozark on Netflix. Where they shot the scenes of the Blue Cat Lodge is actually in the town where AJ's parents live. I don't remember what his actual name is. It was like Party. the initials. No, like the actual restaurant. Oh yeah, I don't know. JD or CJ, I don't remember. I don't either. On the lake. I don't know. So we went. And explored that area and took a picture. The kids, of course, had no idea. They know we watch Ozark, but they don't watch it. That's not completely appropriate for our age children. But they took a picture with us. Yeah, we recreated one of the pictures from Ozark just to be fun. It may or may not make it in our video. <laughs> I will but see. there's uh, somebody, well, there's a few people that work with me that think I look a little bit like Marty and have some personality quirks that are similar to Marty. I'm pretty <laughs> sure that's not a compliment, but uh, it is what it is. So, um, so anyway, I took a picture for them because I'm a nice guy. Uh, 2441 Mike, contact uh, Jacksonville Center, 134.45. 134.45, forward Mike. Jacksonville Center, Aztec 2441 Mike at 11000. Aztec 2441 Mike, Jack Center, welcome to the Albany Alternative 3003. 3003, thanks. So on today's flight, uh, we got out a little bit earlier than we were planning, and we're going to make the most of it and do, uh, do some shelling in Marco Island on the west coast of Florida. But there was a couple of reasons that we got out early. Uh, we had a window of opportunity where the, the fog was dissipating and the, uh, the weather that's going to be coming in later this afternoon uh, hadn't yet arrived. So if this is Cherokee County on the map right here, looks like we got a little digital overlap there on the sectionals. But uh, if you zoom out a little bit, you can start to see the precipitation beginning to arrive. And then you can see that become some fairly significant rain. Uh, right around noon is when that's supposed to start arriving. So uh, within 30 minutes, uh, the clouds from the side of the, the leading edge of that front are going to start to arrive. And then the more moderate, severe thunderstorms are going to be there. So if we were going to get out any time this upcoming two days, uh, then we needed to be out of, in front of that weather. So, you know, we waited for the okay. fog to clear, had IFR filed, and now we're on our way, hopefully avoiding all of that big front and making our way south. Now, right now, there's not much to speak about uh, in middle Florida, but as we go, I wouldn't be surprised if by the time we get down to Marco Island, uh, which is in the very, very southwest tip of Florida, that we will, uh, we're going to start to see some thunderstorms forming in central Florida that usually move west. And then we're planning on flying back to Stewart tonight, uh, depending upon what sort of uh, weather barriers we have between Marco and Stewart. Well, it's a quick flight from Marco to Stewart. Yeah, it's so. only 45 minutes to go from the west coast of uh, Florida to up to Stewart uh, at about a northeast uh, heading. I think we go right under the south part of Okeechobee to get back home. and then back into Stewart. But yeah, 45 minutes is easy. Um, a lot of my training in this particular plane, we just spent time bouncing There's back and forth to the West Coast uh, and then back home uh, doing approaches and whatnot. So the West Coast is easy to get to. I think kids might enjoy a night flight. And so we- uh, We've never flown with you night. In all the years that you have flown, in 12 years, we have never flown with you at night. I really want to go on a night flight. Do you? Yeah. yeah. So. 
I think we'll, uh, as long as the weather's good, we're going to take off around sunset and uh, have a little bit of dusk as we're going over the swamp. And by the time we get to Okeechobee and um, back to some areas where there's more airport options, then uh, we'll fly over that dark, and then it'll be real dark by Okeechobee. There's uh, nothing out and there. And then as we get to the coast, you just start seeing neighborhoods all over the place from West Palm, Jupiter, Stewart, Port St. Lucie, uh, back into our area. So it's it's really pretty nice to see the lights come back in, and they've not done it. So yeah, if the weather's good, that's the plan. We'll see how this goes. Maybe we'll catch a pretty sunset. I'd like to try to get a double sunset. As long as the, there's not clouds everywhere. If we time it just right, you can take off right as the sun goes down, climb up to altitude, and then see the sunset again from the sky. And so uh, it's always fun to chase a double sunset. Um, so if we get our timing just right, we're going to try to do that today. And in the meantime, we'll go look for some pretty shells. Yep. They've got pretty shells there. Tiger Tail Beach. Different kinds of shells in Marco Island than we have in Stewart. Yeah. We watch a lady on YouTube. <laughs> that yeah. shells were so old and <laughs> boring. But I she's interesting. Like, I think it's SWF. He's so, is so excited about her shells. Florida shelling. Something like that. <laughs> and she's. She knows how to behave on camera to make Number things five, interesting. Charlie, She's Jack, sir, delightful to listen to. I, I don't have it in me. If you guys get bored or seem like I'm always grumpy, yeah, that's just my personality. I'm sorry. Somebody's calling but she seems really pleasant, she and finds uh, really she finds good great shells. shells. Marco Island, Tiger Tail specifically, was quite nice. We got a bunch of jingles, some of those worm snails, one sand dollar. <laughs> And some top snails, some shark eyes. I did keep a couple of those ponderous arcs, the fancy clams, the sunray venus and the calico clams, a bunch of olives. And this cracked me up. That little tiny jewel box right there came out of that olive right there. So that I thought was kind of funny. Bonus. If we see somebody filming themselves really, really happy, then we know it's her. Well, she doesn't, like, show herself all those things. No, but if she's talking, talking to a camera, she's show. walking around. Atlanta, I'm sorry, Are Atlanta, you the lady one, two, five, that we like to watch? <laughs> Finding seashells? <laughs> we either watch Ozark <laughs> or <Yeah>. Seashell Lady. <laughs> Bellbuster approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 11000. Aztec 2441 Mike with our source. Good morning, the morning at number 3001. 3001, 41 Mike. 7.8, happy east. What? I thought it was done a second ago and I put my microphone back up and I just, uh, I just pulled a Kelly. A good one, too. Times. It's gonna... Did you lean forward and try to eat your microphone? I, I went... <laughs> nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're gonna pull it up. I knew it immediately. I was like, I... We'll see if you put it in the video. All right, we're about to get into that mix. We got things popping up all around us. Contact Jack's approach, 118.6. 118.6, forward Mike. Jack's approach, Aztec 2441 Mike at 11000. 2441 Mike, Jack's approach with altimeter 3001, descend and maintain 900,000. Altimeter 3001, descend and maintain 900,000, forward Mike. Heading 140 for traffic, forward Mike. Look at this 
I think it's this jet. 41 Mike, proceed on course Marco. On course Marco, 41 Mike. September 2441 Mike, no traffic observed between you and the field. Radar service is terminated. Squawk VFR, frequency change proof. Squawk VFR, frequency change approved. Follow Mike, thank you. Marco Island, Aztec 2441 Mike is 10 miles to the north northeast, inbound for straight in runway 17 Marco. Marco Island, Aztec 2441 Mike is 6 miles to the north northeast, inbound for straight in full stop runway 17 Marco. I don't want to jinx it, but this is nicer than most. What do you mean? Nice and stabilized, and it's not gusting. We're not down here. I'm right on my airspeed <laughs> at 95, localizer, glide slope. This is, this is good. There's your mom. Yeah, well, that, was, that didn't count. That was, got to say something positive. It seems like I complain about every landing. I don't know how to land normally. <laughs> All right, well, we're down. Marco Island, Aztec 2441 Mike is clear, runway 17 Marco. Yeah, but it, I'm like miles. 10 miles from the beach. Yeah, yeah we gotta, we get gotta drive there. Uh, I learned about the Everglades. How are we gonna drive there? I learned about the Everglades in class, and I learned about, like, that what, they're one of the, like, biggest, uh, Mangrove farms. Yeah, well. And I looked at mangroves and stuff. Mangrove swamps and all the animals in that. Oh, well, there's your mangroves. There was a golf course right here. If you like to golf, and that would be like, an easy hop. <laughs> and like how they like are planted in the water. Yeah. Welcome to Marco. Are you here to stay with us? Are you a uh, short visit? What's up? A uh, short visit till around 5 or 6 this evening is likely. We're going to be taking back off later today, though. All right, let's see if we can find you a spot here. Uh, I'm on the golf cart. You can just follow me. We'll follow. Follow Mike. Look at that massive FBO. Marco Island traffic. That's the FBO. Yeah. Left turn up. This is a very wealthy area. Between the yeah. Bonanza and the, uh, the Twin, is that enough room for you? Yeah, I think we can squeeze it in there. You want me to try to back it in right there? Yeah, if you spin it around, I'll go get the electro and help you push it back. Sounds good. Alrighty. We made it. See you later tonight. See ya. It's a ton of dragonflies. <laughs> Everyone's like, what are these people doing? <laughs> Some sort of Easter ritual. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I tried to catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Marco Island. Just landed at the airport. We just picked up a courtesy car, which is one of the nicest ones we've ever had. And we are off to find food and the beach. But it's Easter and almost everything is closed. <laughs> it's a real adventure now. So we may now. be eating goldfish on the beach. <laughs> Treasures so far. Nice. Oh, 
Look at that one. It's a... Oh yeah. my gosh. I got this for you, Mom. Big collection. You want to see the pink one I got? It's a really pink one. Ooh. And a double lion's paw. Oh, that's so nice. I... Let me see. Let me see. He's okay. Can I see the double lion's paw? I Woo! found this one. Yeah, he's nice. I thought the stripes were nice. I thought the double was nice. The double is amazing. I've never seen a double. And I found some barnacles. Found another one of these. 